Welcome to another short video tutorial on Microsoft products. This time we're going to have a look at forms. You'll find this from the portal under the waffle icon. Click to open and look for this icon, a turquoise colour, forms. When you click on that it will open up your forms arena. Now I have a few forms already created but notice how the screen is laid out, uh, my forms and other forms because other staff can share their creations with you but the ones that you've created will be on my forms. If you have plenty to choose from you can obviously use the search mechanism. You can create a new form or a new quiz and here are the three forms that I already have created in the past. Now it's giving me a tally of how many people have responded. So I have three responses for one form, seven for another, and zero for my third form. Let's start at the beginning then with creating a new form. So uh, click on New Form. Notice how we have two tabs here, questions and responses. Obviously we won't have any responses until we've sent this form to recipients. Uh, so stick with the questions tab. Let's give it a title. Um, now, for the sake of arguments, uh, my favourite TV programs. So let's say we're we're holding this survey on TV programs. Um, we can click to add a subtitle. Um, Now at the top right you have the ability to insert a, an image, if you have a, a nice image to stick on the top of that form. Um, I won't do that just now, but it's literally a case of finding the image and inserting it. Add a question. This is where the fun starts. So we have a decision to make here. Do we want a multiple choice type question, an empty text box for a simple textual answer, do we want star ratings, so uh, from numbers 1 to 10 or stars 1 to 10, and date fields. So with the first question I'm going to make it multiple choice, so click on choice. Here we get to state the question. Uh, Option 1, option 2, we don't need leave like that, we do need to state what the possible answers are. Um, so, if we give them a choice out of two programs, um, it, it can go on and on and on, obviously, um, especially with a question like this. Um, but there we go. Uh, we've given them an option. And we can add more. So for the sake of arguments, let's add third program. OK, and we could carry on indefinitely. We can also state whether we allow multiple answers. Obviously it wouldn't make sense with um, this definitive favourite. Um, so I won't switch that on, but if you do, it allows them to choose more than one answer. Um, is the question required? In other words, can they bypass this, yes or no? Um, I'm going to insist that they complete that or else we won't get the information we're after. And the little ellipsis there will offer to give your question a subtitle and also just in case people are cribbing uh, off of each other uh, we can shuffle the options so that it's not easy for people to prompt others how to answer if they've done the survey or questionnaire before. So I'll leave those be for the moment and I might use them in subsequent questions. 
add a question this time I'll go for a different selection um, text so uh, what is your favorite catchphrase now I'm making this as uh, sensible uh, as possible <laughs> Um, what's your favorite catchphrase now they have the chance to type in any text at all if you're expecting a long answer then <coughs> permit the box more space with long answer again do they have to complete this section I'm going to insist that they do okay onwards add another this time rating so, um, how would you rate the RT news stories last night? Again, almost illogical. Um, but uh, now we have the chance to give them star ratings or numbers 1 to 10, so the levels. Uh, we currently see five stars. We can uh, allow up to ten. And do we want? Do we need a symbol, or just a straightforward number? So it's up to you. I, I think it sometimes is easier to uh, just allow them to click on stars. And um, do we insist that they answer this one? I'm going to say yes to that as well. So it's a required question. And uh, notice how you can copy questions so if you have very similar questions one after the other you can copy the bulk of uh, the previous question into the subsequent ones if you get it wrong you can delete and later on maybe later in the year if you reissue this survey or questionnaire you might want to delete some questions that are no longer applicable uh, you can move these questions up or down in the form so uh, redesign is quite simple. Onwards and final type is date. So um, which date is the next East Indies? Again, um, not the most interesting questions but the mechanism is what we're looking at here so uh, date field and when they click on this calendar here they can select a date as usual from an internet style calendar I'll make that a required question and to use the subtitle for the first time now I'm going to click on the ellipsis choose subtitle and say Terrestrial TV So have a little think about how you might use this with your questions and I don't know if you've noticed um, as I've been recording this um, but do take a look up to this top right corner one of the most interesting things about software as a service which is what forms belongs to in the Microsoft uh, Office 365 suite um, were we to change anything such as to add just some ellipsis here um, take a look and you see it says it's saving and it's saved there is no save button basically so don't go looking for a save mechanism provided you have an internet connection provided you've connected to it then your form will be saved as you go so even if you're on a train going through tunnels and it keeps cutting off every time you get reconnected the save should update um, so we have our form created in the next session we're going to take a look at how we can branch off to uh, answer subsequent questions and miss out certain in the middle that no longer apply determined by the way the uh, recipient has responded to a given question.